I want to thank you for coming to this presentation in Chicago for Abraham Investment Management. Before we start, I'd like to um, just give you a, two of the ideas that we're going to talk about. It's the principles of winning in an uncertain environment, as well as accumulating wealth. But before we start, I want to give you the disclaimer. And I invite you to read it. My name is Andrew Abraham, and I have a book coming out shortly with Wiley Books called The Bible of Trend Following, How Professional Traders Compound Money and Manage the Risks. I'd like to give you a little background on myself and our firm. I am a trend follower. I have been a trend follower now for the last 18 years. I develop strategies to enable people to compound money. I'm going to discuss with these actually in much further detail as we're going on. I started 18 years ago when I sold a company in which I started to put myself through college. I really had no idea what to do with the money. And in reality, trading first started out as an interest. Over time, it became a little bit more intrigued. However, over the years, it became my passion. I have invested with some CTAs that understood risks the way I did, as well as I've been doing my own trading and learning. I put my money up. I took some lumps along the way. I probably made every mistake possible. I learned what stands the possibility of working over time. If I want to be introspective, I can say I became a student of trading. I want to know everything about trading. I love trading. I do my trading at 5 a.m. in the morning. I work out. Then I get back on the computer and I research ideas. I really want to figure out what has the propensity to work and what doesn't. Next to my bed, I have a pad. On this pad, I write down ideas. I wake up in the middle of the night and I test them the next day. So really, this is my passion, trading. The secret to succeeding, in my opinion, in any activity is having the right, the right mindset. It's not something that you must be born with. It's something that we learned. I've tested, I don't want to say hundreds of ideas, maybe even thousands, with the help of one of the best programmers I've ever met. And I'm very thankful for having him as part of my organization. Together, we've tested so many ideas that we hope and believe will work in the real world to make our trading program. Because really what I want to have for myself and my family is a world-class trading program. I want a world-class trading program for you, my clients, and rather, rather even say my partners. The main fact is that 90% of the people lose money. CTAs don't surpass five years. And many investors don't make money even investing in the so-called good CTAs or ones that have been around for decades because they're not thinking correctly. The goal of our discussion, my goal is to give you an aha moment. I really hope my talk will change the way you think. And today we're going to talk about two of these principles. I have more, but we're limited by time. I'm here today to talk to you about the psychology of winning, which I believe is one of the most overlooked components of investment success, as well as another idea I'm sure you've heard of, compounding of money over time. But I want to stress how important compounding of money really is to you and your success. I like telling stories. I want to share a story of a friend of mine who's giving his son $200,000 who just graduated college to start trading. My buddy, he's been trading for decades. He's been teaching his son also since he's been at a very young age. And he told me that he really believes that his son can turn this $200,000 into $6 million over the next 30 years or so. You think it's possible? 30 years is a long time. Let's see a row of hands. Okay, people believe it. It comes out to a 12% rate of return. These ideas of talking about compounding are very, very powerful. Investing success is a puzzle. It's really tough to invest successfully. And the fact is that there's all these moving pieces constantly. But there's two major components that all these pieces should fall under. 
because you can do anything. You can be any type of investor. You can be a value investor, a growth investor, a momentum investor, a trend follower, or you can invest in your business. You can do real estate, but the goal is to compound money. And there's really only four possibilities when you're trying to compound money. You can have big losses, small losses, small profits, big profits. And along the way, there's always the risks if we're actually trading. If you want to talk about real estate, talk about liquidity. Talk about your business. You have every issue that can come to you from regulatory to employees to you name it. And with trading, you have all kinds of issues that can detriment your compounding, such as overtrading, trying to trade thin markets, using too high of a leverage, it, leverage or really not controlling the risks. However, if you have a good or robust methodology with sound risk management and money management and the component of this, the proper psychology of winning or this, this winning mindset and the compounding of money over time, you put yourself in a position to compound money. As I said, there's the methodology, risk management, money management, psychology of winning, and compounding money over a long period of time. As I said in the beginning of our talk, I'm going to highlight the psychology of winning. And really, what is the psychology of winning? How do you really expect to win when there's such uncertainty? The only certainty is uncertainty when we trade. So what's going to give you the confidence to stick with the plan in order that you can win? How much pain do you need to go through in order to win or compound money? Then the question is, do you really have the mindset of a champion? When you trade, anything can happen. Outliers are almost certain to happen. However, normally, and we're not dealing normally when we're trading, life operates in a fairly predictable pattern. You plant corn, you don't get tomatoes. It's highly likely that if you build an investment program based on principles that have worked for decades in the real world, you increase the possibilities and probabilities of wealth creation. I say wealth creation. Wealth creation is the same idea of compounding money. What this means is it's irrelevant how last month's results were or last year's results. Trading and trading success is a marathon. I mentioned the word compounding. I can't even say it enough. This is the focus that we really need to have. But the thing is, once you realize that anything can happen, that you need to be prepared. Most people are not prepared. There was the Enrons. There was the WorldCom. There was the NASDAQ. There was the dollar. People thought the dollar was going to crash. And even professional traders dismiss these. We expect these Six Sigma events. I am positive there will be a bigger drawdown at some point in the future than anything I've ever back tested or ever experienced to date. Our programs are stress tested because we're plan we have planned in advance for these outliers and these unpleasant surprises in the future. Because as I use this word marathon, we want to stay in this investment game. I want a world class trading system for my family. I've planned, I've stress tested. There will be outlier events, events that are worse than anything we've ever experienced. I believe very strongly that sports and investing are just a great analogy. They're very similar. You have to play by the rules, and if you don't play by the rules, you're not going to win. David Drews wrote the foreword of my book, and he made a very interesting point, like in football. You get knocked down and a successful trader gets up again. You get knocked down again, and you get up again. You get knocked down, and you get up. This is what it's all about. Another analogy, like in football, you can go back and forth for four quarters or three quarters, and nothing happens. But in the fourth quarter, you win. You have to stay in the game, like baseball. You have inning after inning after inning, and they're boring, except you have a few home runs all of a sudden. This is exactly, exactly what trading is. 
want to share with you another story. I have a neighbor, young boy, maybe 17 years old, who loves soccer. He has a soccer net in his backyard. I'm up at 5 o'clock in the morning, and before he goes to school, he's kicking that ball in the net. He's extremely passionate. I go to sleep early, 9, 10, 10. He's still kicking the ball in the into the into the net. He knows he's going to succeed. He wants to become this professional soccer player. And I've asked him, I said, how many hours a week do you practice? And he told me that he practices every moment he can. And I assumed very clearly, and I asked him, I said, you know, do you practice more than any other, you know, kids that are in your team? And he says, of course. Most of them only practice, you know, when they're at school. So he practices on his own. He wants to be this great soccer player. It's his passion. His passion has him practicing. And I have a question for you. Do you think one out of ten and his team are as good as this boy? Or is he unique? Is he one out of a hundred or maybe one out of a thousand? Do you believe that someone who practices more deserves the right to be a better professional? What do you think? Does the guy who tries the most achieve the best results? I think so. Because soccer is like my trading. I've sat where you've sat. I've invested in CTAs. I've watched CTAs. And in every profession or sports, you have two things. You have wannabes and Arby's. The wannabes want the title, the money, the prestige. They want to call themselves a CTA and make all this money and management fees and incentive fees. But you know what? I found a lot of them aren't really willing to put in the work. I also learned over the years that the vast majority of CTAs that are starting out don't survive more than five years because they're not passionate. They're not putting their everything into this successful, you know, this successful venture of trading. Whoops. I just had a little problem with my charts here. Let me go back a little bit. One second. Apologize. We just had the Olympics. What was the difference between the person, or in this case the girl, who won the gold medal and the one who came in fourth? It's milliseconds, but it's passion. It's wanting it. And there's nothing great in this world happens without passion. And you look at some of these words in here, support, confidence, excellence, vision. This is what it is. This is what determines success or failure is passion. I want to share with you a story, my mentor. I sold my business in 1994. I had no idea what to do with the money. I asked my accountant, I asked my attorney what to do with the money. My accountant, I asked him, I said, who's the most successful investor you have out of all your clients? He gave me a name and a number. And it was uh, not this gentleman. His name is Ron. And the fact is, this is the person who gets it. I've told you I've invested in CTA since 1994. I've sat where you sat. I've learned that there are CTAs that are PhDs. Don't really succeed. They haven't made money. Then there's people, traders, who are PhDs. Passionate, hungry, driven. They're not looking just to charge a management fee. It's their passion. This is what they love doing. This is the principle of winning. I compare my mentor, Ron, who was not a PhD, to the people from long-term capital. They were PhDs, and they blew up to the tune of billions of dollars. And there was a book written about them, How Genius Failed. Ron put in the work. He had the passion. He had the principles of winning. These are the type of CTAs you and I want to invest in. And some of these professionals make these difficult things look easy. They're not. Ron went through all types of drawdowns. Ugly, steep drawdowns. Numerous trades in a row not working. Long periods of time that he didn't make money. But you know what? He didn't quit. He had the focus to stick with it. Same analogy as the boy next door who loves kicking the ball in the net. He has passion. He didn't have to go to Harvard or Wharton to become a successful trader. Passion, discipline, 
focus, patience. Ron started in 1979 with $200,000, which was a lot of money at the time. And you know what? He didn't have all this advanced computer work that we have. He took his $200,000 to $18 million. First hand, he taught me the power of compounding. He's a living example of compounding. In this conversation, I just passed out an article in Mar Hedge, which talked about another gentleman who invested $300,000 with Tom Shanks with Hawksbill in 1988. On the front page of this handout, it shows the deep drawdowns that Tom Shanks went through. Ugly drawdowns, steep losses, long periods he didn't make money. But this gentleman who invested with him, and the date of this article is on 2003, has taken 300000 to $18 million, plus he took out a million dollars. Now, if you want to fast forward another 10 years, do $18 million at 10%. It's a mind-boggling number. Here it is. 200000 like my buddy was saying, at 30 years at 12%, turns to $6 million. That's a lot of money. A lot of money. World's greatest investor, Warren Buffett. Would you want to invest with him? I just took a shot of BRKA. He had two 50% drawdowns. He hasn't taken out his, ninth, his 2008 peak. The world's greatest investor. Would you hang on with him? Would you be with him still? Here's his chart from 2008. Has not taken out those highs. World's greatest investor. 50% drawdowns. 1998. 13.56% return. And you can look at these ugly drawdowns. How many of you would actually sit through this? Not many. Einstein also brought out about compounding money. He called it the greatest mathematical discovery of the world. Compounding money and building wealth is extremely difficult. As I said, you're going to have these long drawdowns. You're going to have these steep drawdowns. You're going to have periods of time that you don't make money. However, the key component of my talk today is compounding, that it is possible. And the reality is this message really doesn't get out. People don't get it. I've asked, does anyone really know your, your, rate of, your compounded rate of return for the last 10 years? No hands went up. The fact is you have superior rates of return with a robust system. You have the ability to compound money. And you have the time gives you the potential for massive wealth creation. The title of this slide is, do you know where your compounded rate of return is? And if you don't know this, which I asked people in this room and no one did, how do you know where you're going? You don't know where you're going. It's like you have to have a trading plan in order to succeed. If you don't have a trading plan, you're destined to fail. The same thing with a goal with a compounded annual rate of return. Forget about how was last month or how was last year. Who's the top CTA? Take a long-term perspective. Behind my desk, I have a chart that covers half the wall. And on that wall, I look at it when I'm in my drawdowns, which I'm in now. And I know that they do end. But I know that they can continue for long periods of time. And they will have steep drawdowns, or I will have numerous trades in a row not work. This is the reality of trading. This is the truth. But the fact is, I have the ability and I understand what is compounding. And it's not just for me. My children have been trading and learning since they've been 12 and 13 years old. The average life expectancy is, say, 78, 80 years old. My children are 20 and 19, two of the oldest ones. That gives them 60 to 70 years of compounding of money. And let's say even at 10% and they stay in the marathon. 
It's a tremendous amount of money. Look at some of these charts. If you do 15% over 10 years, you four times your money. 15% over 15 years, you eight times your money. 20 years, 16 times your money. I'm not going to my next slide. I don't know why I'm having a problem. Let's see. Okay, 25 years. You have 32 times your money. It's a potential. The first problem is people don't have a goal. They don't have a plan. You need to know where you're going in order to actually get there. I've been studying and investing in the markets for 18 years. I've come across a number of principles that have worked over time. I have some CTAs I've invested with and also have the great fortune to invest with a firm in Florida. It was a small boutique firm that specialized in mechanical trading systems. My buddies in Florida saw it all. They knew what would work in the real world. They had all kinds of programmers come to them and CTAs come to them and they would ask all kinds of questions. They would ask what kind of markets do you trade? And they would ask, you know, are you trading the liquid markets? If you're not if you're trading the lumber, the rough rice and propane or all these, you knew right away there was no no sense of continuing with them because the program wouldn't hold up in the real world. They looked at back tested results. They looked great in the real world, but they didn't include slippage or commissions. They knew the system was flawed and was going to disappoint in the real world. These guys in Florida, they heard it all. They met all types of system developers and programmers, and I invested with them. This program, which I consider a world-class program, is here. It ran for almost eight years. It was my account. I didn't, wasn't in there the whole 7.75 years. I didn't get in right in the beginning. But you know what? This is a great program. It had a 19.75 compounded annual rate of return. But the fact is, the reality is, how easy it really wasn't. For a year, at one point, it didn't make money. Accounts went from 370000 to 270000 How many of you would have stuck with this? How many of you would want to be in this program? Or would you say, it's broken? I learned from this program. I was blessed to be a client of this firm. I, like a sponge, I took up as much information as possible to learn what works in the real world. Look at this. World's greatest system. I'm not going to say world's greatest system. I'll say a world-class system, a good system. And it looks a little bit skewed because... They made their money on commissions, not on the proverbial 2 and 20, which it would have put it down to about 15%, which is there are CTAs out there. There are a handful of CTAs, not all, a very few that get it and that have, have actually compounded money over the decades on average at 15%. But they went through these long periods. They didn't make their clients money. They went through long periods of drawdowns, long flat periods of elusive profits. Would you quit or would you stick in there? Another period, I dissected this chart a long time with nothing happening. In summation, most of the time nothing happens when we trade, yet we expect it or we demand it. But that's not the reality. I just showed you several sections of sideway drawdowns and price drawdowns that in all reality you will have to go through with any CTA in order to achieve I'll call world-class returns. The fact is you will have sideways activities for probably 70% or more of the time and you will have drawdowns and if you let it be it will have frustration and aggravation or you can accept it and understand it that this is the price or the pain that you have to go through in order to succeed. 
Do you want to win? Do you want to compound money? Do you want your children to have this ability to compound money, to create extreme wealth? This is what you have to go through. There is no holy grail. There is no sugarcoating anything. First, you have to start with a world-class system. That's not enough. You have to have this program explained to you in detail so you know what types of price and equity drawdowns you're probably likely to experience. And bear this in mind. Your worst drawdown is going to be even more than this, and it's going to be ahead of you. Then you need to realize that you need to surround yourself with professionals who are putting their money up in the same program, who've experienced this before. Winning's not easy. Successful trading is not easy. I've sat where you've sat. I've invested in CTAs. Not once, not once did I have someone ever explain to me the idea of compounding of money, that I have to stick in this game, or what I really will experience when I actually start trading with that manager. And even in my own trading, I can tell you firsthand, 2005 and 2006 were the worst periods ever and the greatest drawdowns. Again, winning is not easy, but surrounding yourself with professionals who know how to help you during tough times can be very rewarding. I've mentioned at least twice that most CTAs fail within five years. Many of these firms don't have a superior program. Many of these firms don't incorporate realistic or let's just say money management or managing the risk. They don't have the winner's mentality or trading psychology. At the first drawdown they double up or they don't take trades. You need to have this winning mentality or this proper trading psychology because you need to have programs that are likely or possibly to perform in the future in the real world that are based on principles that have worked in the real world and traders that have experience. You need to have a firm that talks to you about what is long-term compounding or what is the possibility of it. No one can guarantee it. I can't guarantee it, but it's a possibility. And you need to be educated for the pain that you're going to have to endure if you really want to stay in this marathon of trading. I began this talk by telling you there's pieces of the puzzle for some investment success. Today, because we're short on time, I talked to you about two pieces, which I feel are the most important pieces. The psychology of winning, or that trader psychology, and hopefully I've given you the aha experience of really the potential of compounding money. The more you understand these pieces, the more likely you are to have a long-term investment outlook and potential success. We invest our own money in the systems we develop. We believe the probabilities are high that these systems will help us to improve the quality of our lives. What I really hope is that I've given you an aha experience in this short talk and you'll give me the opportunity to talk to you further about some of the other pieces of the puzzle and these trading programs that we run and hopefully the opportunity for our firm to gain a portion of your business. I can be contacted here. I greatly appreciate your time and your attention. And my goal is to try to help you become a better investor, to realize what it takes in order to succeed long term. Thank you very much.